Welcome to another episode of Where the Stones Have a Story to Tell. My shy executive producer, Tully. Come on, buddy. And I would like to show you something a little different. So if you've seen any episodes on this series up till now, we were in Gilbert Hill State Forest exploring the possible native people's ancient ceremonial structures. I've identified uh, well over a hundred possibilities. And what I do here in general is go through the published research by professionals and compare and contrast what is in this forest to what has been published by professionals. Today is a little different. Uh, the structures that I would like to show you are not published in any research. They have never been recognized. And so this is either a brand new type of ceremonial structure or a figment of my imagination, and you will be able to be the judge. Uh, so we're gonna go through two objects uh, of this type, and it is essentially what I call a scalloped boulder. Scalloped boulders, if they are a thing, would have been worked into a concave shape into an embedded boulder. They happen to face the ones I found exclusively to sunrise and sunset in the solstice. So we're going to go through the features of these stones and you can be the judge of whether or not you think this is real or it is not real. But if it is a potential thing, I think it'd be good for others in the New England area to know about it because maybe they've seen things like this and it just never really added up that it could have been related to Native American ceremonial, uh, ancient ceremonial times. So with that, I'm going to introduce the four features that I consider that would make up a scalloped boulder. And then we're gonna go through a little close up of this. One, big embedded boulder. Two, the face is concave. And I've strung a little string along the line here. Sometimes that video doesn't really do 3D uh, justice. So we'll take the GoPro and take a look at that, uh, that concave face. Uh, three, the top ridge line is narrow. It is thin. It doesn't go back flat. It's not thick. They really narrow off right at the top. And lastly, it is facing sunrise or sunset at one of the solstice days of the year, winter or summer. Now, I know what many of you are gonna say, which is, hey, there was a lot of stone quarrying in Gilbert Hills State Forest historically, uh, and many of the older structures around here are made up of, their foundations made up of the granite quarried out of here. That could just be quarried stone. Now, this may or may not be a ceremonial structure, but is definitely not quarried. And let's take a look why. Quarried stone has very distinct drill holes in it. And uh, those can be found uh, at the top where they split the stone. And that does not exist here. You'll see uh, in a second in the close up of the GoPro. So this is not quarried stone. So with that, let's take a close up look at this object and we are going to go to a second one uh, to further demonstrate the point. So as we approach the stone here, I just want to take a moment to show you a, the only native orchid in New England, the lady slipper, happens to be right here. So as you can see, I think from the video, it's not all that clear that the face is concave, but I've placed this line up here, and this will help orient you quite a bit more. You can now sort of see how high that line, which is here, sort of sits up over the stone and the ridge. And that is the concave face and how narrow that ridge really is. A couple of inches wide. So you've got a narrow ridge, concave face. So as we come back around the face, do a 180 degree turn, come down and check the Sunseeker app. We're on the winter solstice. 
December 21st, and it is facing directly toward sunset on that day. All right, off to scout boulder number two. So as we trek over to our second site, I want to give you some of the historical timeline that's relevant to evaluating things in this forest. Not too far from here is where the Mayflower landed in 1620. Within the prior 20 years, 80 to 90 percent of much of the population here had been wiped out, native population, by disease. But going farther back, the first recorded carbon dated instance of habitation is less than one day's walk, if you trust Google Maps. From here, in Ipswich, Massachusetts. And that, uh, there are two dating uh, sites. One was about 9,000 years, and one was 10,000 years. So within a day's walk from here or so, you had evidence of native populations habitating the area up to 10,000 years ago. Assuming that the charcoal they found in that fire was the very first fire that was ever set here. It stands to reason if there's a 10,000 year old dating, people had been here before that. Nonetheless, the glaciers started to recede 15,000 years ago. Now, some of what we are doing here today and have done in prior episodes, is taking a look at objects that had been created ostensibly to look at the horizon. So from looking around here right now, you would say you can't see the horizon. It's covered in foliage, true. But another important dating point is a pond, ancient pond, not too far from here in Blue Hills. And that had pollen record of trees starting to grow 8,000 years ago. So you have people here up to 10,000 years ago in the area, you have trees starting 8,000. So it's at least 2,000 years where people could have been making structures oriented to the horizon. And we know not just the people here in North America, but ancient people all over the world had spiritual relationships with the sunrise, sunset, winter, solstice, summer solstice, and the equinox. All right, with that, let's get to our second structure. All right, we are approaching the second boulder. You can see the large embedded nature of it. It has a concave face here. We'll take a look up at the top so you can see that curve. And let's take a look at the ridge line on top. As with the first structure, this ridge line at the top, being down to the back, is very narrow, so you can see fingers in width at the top exactly like our last structure and as we look at the Sunseeker app December 21st we can see this faces directly towards sunrise of the winter solstice So this object has all the same four features as the last object, happens to also be directly oriented to the winter solstice. Two stones, concave, thin ridge, facing sunrise and sunset exactly the same day of the year. I'll let you be the judge as to whether or not you think that is a glacial erratic and a coincidence or the potential of a previously unknown Native American structure. I would say that and ask that if you were in New England and you were mucking about in the woods, checking out Native American structures, you've seen other ones in the area um, that you can recognize, keep an eye out for the scalloped boulder. And if you find one, let me know in the comments section and we'll take a road trip and video your scalloped boulder. All right, as always, this is where the stones have a story to tell and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.